I'm pretty certain I'm not the only one that's noticed that everybody and their dogs seems to have an AR nowadays. And for good reason, they're nice rifles. I know a lot of people overpaid during the panic buy, and now they're abundant and they're cheap. You can get parts, you can put one together yourself, any configuration you want. You can buy name brands, there's a lot of people manufacturing good quality ones. So they're everywhere. I found myself getting a little bored with them, wanted something different. I've always liked AKs as well. I've owned a variety of AKs. This one is a Drinko Mac 90. Got the bump ski on it, which is a toy, but it's fun. Um, anyway, I found myself wanting something a little different in that same style of, of rifle. I ended up going with a Sig Sauer 5.56. This to me is a good combination of an AR meets an AK. I hadn't heard a lot of them. I know the Swiss carry, I think it's a SIG 550, a little different than this one. But I'm just going to demonstrate kind of what this one is for people that haven't heard about them, like I hadn't. Um, first of all, it's got a folding stock because there's no buffer tube like you'd see in an AR. You can see it just folds right to the side. Locks in place pretty solid right, right there. It will fire in this configuration. Not real practical, but good for portability. It locks good and solid back in place. It's got a ambidextrous safety on it. The bolt catch is different. Same location as you'd get in an AR, but it functions differently. You'll see when the magazine is empty and you charge it, which you'll notice the charging is a lot like on an AK. You see a charge an AK like that. It goes forward. On this one you charge it and you'll see it'll lock back with that magazine in there to send the bolt forward again. You just lift up on this and it'll go forward. I'll drop the magazine out. I'll mention the sights on it. Um, these sights, let me fold this to the side so you can see them better. All of this is kind of do hard to do one handedly, if that's a word. Okay, so there's the sights. You can see that they have the peeps for a hundred, two, three. I usually keep it there because I like the aim point dot to co-witness through there. The front sight is removable but not a quick detach. It uh, does not collapse down. I like that. I like the solid nature of these sights. I'll take this lower off and show you even though it looks like you'd expect to see on an AR with just these pins that stay retained in the lower. Just drop that off of there and my understanding is this is unique to the US version modified to take AR magazines which was a good idea I think with the abundance of them. Unlike you know you get this and you get like a VZ58 has to have its own magazine same caliber. I like that this is the same caliber as an AR but also takes the same magazines. The trigger is unique See that little like plunger there, and let me, uh, it hits that and fires the weapon. I'll remove the bolt from both of these so I can show you the similarities of an AK. To remove the bolt, you depress this down, and you pull up on the charging handle. It even labels up for you. Remove the bolt and carry. You slide it out. This reminds me of almost a VZ58, but I'll pull the bolt out and show you how similar it is to an AK. Dust cover off of here. And you'll notice too where this spring and rod are riding on the bolt carrier that comes up into the gas tube here. Obviously, to remove that, you just pull that off. Whereas on this, you'll see it's different and where it's writing. So I take this out. 
remove that. I'll take the bolt out of here. And look at those similarities. You can tell where the makers of this rifle got their inspiration. These are obviously different calibers, but very, very similar bolts on both of these. So I will remove the hand guards. You can get a quad railers. Uh, I forget the manufacturers that make quad rails for this. It's like Troy or something. Take this aim point off of here so I can remove these. These simply just pull back and down, lift off on this. You can see the profile of the barrel. It's got a gas tube setting I forgot to mention. I'll just turn it that way to increase it. I'll take the gas tube out. Again, hard to do one handed, but I'll manage. Just give this a twist. And this will pull right out of here. That. And you can see the difference in these and the similarity. To take the gas tube out, simply rotate that and pull the tube out. This rifle's got a lot of unique features. I've not fired it a whole lot, but I, in the rounds that I have fired, it's been a really smooth shooter. It's got a little more weight than your average AR, so that tames the recoil, which isn't bad anyway on a 5.56, but Anyway, that's the Sig Sauer 5.56, my comparison to an AK.